What's going on, my little this is your BFF up here, and I'm coming at you with another work slash life update. I am posting this way, way earlier than I usually do, and that's because I'm getting out of here early. Um, we're having a little get together at my house tonight, so my manager, my other assistant manager, not Chico, but Tim, was awesome enough to let me work pretty much a half shift and call it good. Uh, still made a little over 20 bucks so I mean that's 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 good for half a shift that's pretty much what I've been making uh, at the rate I was going that's pretty much the average so wanted to uh, see my family and my friends and hang out we're having a thing called a King's Feast which a King's Feast is you pretty much just have a bunch of uh, uncooked like finger foods and uh, that's like vegetables fruit snack cakes uh, chips and dips stuff like that so uh, i'm gonna get home and we're gonna have a king's feast so i'm pretty excited about that my buddy tanner will be there um i believe uh, chris and his uh, fiance bailey will be there as well um and that's something that i haven't been updating y'all on um is um in so many words i pretty much reconnected with my my friend tanner who has been my friend for over 15 years i've been f friends with this guy for 15 years him and his twin brother andrew and uh he kind of uh fell off the face of the earth for a couple of years um and uh now he's back and uh, he's back in my life and i i'm happy about it i'm over the moon about it because this is one of the guys that was a puzzle piece that created the building blocks that is pretty much me uh having him in my life on a consistent basis for 13 of those 15 years and then he kind of fell off the earth his last two i'm just kind of like man where where are you i miss you i miss you uh, i think they wrote a song about that uh, blink 182 did so he's back in the picture and i'm totally happy about it um i hung out with him uh last night until like 12 30 last night and then uh he came over uh he's coming over tonight and then he came over sunday night um after we went and saw a movie together we went and saw uh, bad boys together and i think this is one of those camera lights i think i'm gonna get my picture taken no we're good <laughs> god i hate those camera lights so bad man uh but it looks like i was good it looks like i was fine but uh we went and saw bad boys for life i liked it a lot and i heard that there are already plans uh they already have plans rather for a, a fourth one which i kind of joked to uh tanner and andrew that the uh, the fourth one is going to be the uh, the Bad Boys Initiative, where Will Smith is going to recruit uh, different people uh, from different movies. So it's like there's going to be a, a crossover with uh, the Fast and Furious movies, and he's going to recruit like uh, uh, Vin Diesel and stuff like that, and he's going to recruit The Rock, and uh, he's going to recruit just a, it was just it was a, a joke that wasn't very funny, but uh, I still got a kick out of it. Uh, the bad boys initiative because uh, the last scene of the movie he talks to this character and it was kind of like uh, uh he, the, the character's in, in jail or he's in prison and uh, will smith goes and talks to him and uh he's like uh he's like how you how you holding up and the guy's like well i'm just doing my time man i did the crime i'm doing the time pretty much and then will smith hands him like a, an envelope and he's like how would you like to get some of that time uh reduced and then it like fades to black. It's like, Ooh. it's kind of like the initiative, the bad boys initiative. So anyway, so there's that. And I, um, I think um, just having Tanner now kind of like back uh, in my life uh, is for the better. I felt like a part of me was kind of missing. I had a missing piece rather uh, with him gone. And now I'm like probably one of the happiest I've ever been in, in a while. And the, uh, it's amazing the difference that a, a one or two people in your life can make um, if they're around, you know. So, glad to have them back. So, there's that. Um, also, um, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about just uh, what where is Freddy vs. Captain Avenger? I know some people are probably asking themselves. They're not commenting. <laughs> they're probably just asking themselves, like, when's he going to post that? I thought he was going to post that the day after Valentine's Day. Which I was going to, but um, I didn't, <laughs> obviously. So, I will probably be posting that this this Saturday instead of uh, last Saturday. I'm probably going to post it this Saturday. Um, 
I did do some uh, minor tweaks and uh, adjustments and stuff like that. And I think it's actually, it's okay. It's a turd, but it's a polished turd. So take that as you will. And um, also uh, the next one I'm probably gonna upload is a uh, infomercial uh, that a couple of uh, people in my senior class, it's, it's, it's pretty much like, uh, it was around the same time as Sick Day happened. So uh, you get to see a uh, beardless, goateeless uh, pork chop. Um, I was still pork chop back in that day. I've had that nickname since I was in the sixth grade. If you guys want to know the story about that, then I will gladly share it with you at another time. So just comment, yeah, I want to hear the origin story of the name pork chop. So there you go. And uh, it's an infomercial about a uh, toilet seat. Uh, that's inflatable and you can take it with you and uh, the toilet seat um, is to help uh, fight germs so if you're like a germaphobe this is a toilet seat that you can just take with you because we had to make an infomercial um, about it and uh, it's called the relief ring so there you go and this was uh, I, I mentioned this again but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll say it again um, this was a project that uh, I had uh, I think I had a cold like a big, big, big cold, and so I was out of school for a day or two. I can't remember the uh, specifics, but I was out of school for a day or two, and uh, I got back, and they're like, oh, well, here you go. Here's the script. Here are your lines, and uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to film it today. And I'm like, okay, well, good thing I'm not sick anymore. So <laughs> there we go. So they just, uh, one take, did everything in one take, and the rest is history. Uh, but not really history because it's been locked away since 2000. 2011 so there you go and so there's that and also um, I've been thinking a lot because my wife bought a uh, PlayStation now the other day she bought it and I'm uh, so far I'm on the fence about it because the lag is kind of bad because she's playing Ratchet and Clank uh, and it's 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 laggy and it, it, it gets really uh, pixelated and it I don't know hopefully it might be something that we might have to upgrade our internet or we're just gonna have to uh, just like not do anything in the house but like, like turn all the streams off and everything like that and just do that just just have the PlayStation going with the game because uh, it was pretty bad it even it, it even like shut down on her one one session and that was a little ridiculous uh, she was playing it and it was like your your uh, internet connection is not sustainable or it's not strong enough so uh, the game will end in 10 seconds and of course it, it closed and it shut down on her I was like, oh look at that so there's that uh, but what I was trying to say was is uh, there are over 800 games on that PlayStation now and the game that I want to play is uh, I want to play the, the Arkham games. This is something that I've always wanted to do. I did do Arkham Origins for a little bit on my channel, um, but it was for not uh, because uh, I stopped playing because uh, I think I lost my save file, something like that. Something drastic happened where I had to, uh, I had to stop doing uh, installments of that. So there's Origins, there's uh, Asylum, there's City, there's Night. Um, actually, I don't think Night is on there, but I have a physical copy of Arkham Knight that I, I would gladly like to stream. But if you guys want to see me do a Batman series, let me know. Uh, this might be something that I might do like in the summer or the fall. Uh, but as of right now, I'm focused on these Toronto Huskies, and uh, hopefully we'll have a season two up and running. Maybe sometime, maybe sometime next week. It might actually start happening next week. So... Uh, look for those. Um, I still have that last episode I have to upload, but I just, I keep forgetting about it for uh, season one. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm home. Thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. Uh, leave me questions, leave me comments, anything you want to talk about, leave me stories. Just let's get a conversation going. I greatly appreciate you guys that participate um, in these, whether it be comments or likes, or just tell me that the artwork looks good for the, uh, the ads that I've created, which are on my, uh, those ads are on my community tab for those of you that are looking for those. I've posted, I posted one the other day, and I think that's the last one I'm going to post. Uh, they're the ones I kind of want to keep, you know, a secret until the uh, the game launches. 
for season two. But anyway, guys, thank y'all so much once again for dropping by and always remember my little pig. Let's call him Pork Chop. Loves y'all the most. Let's y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. I burped. Sorry. Bye, guys. <laughs>